Hello and welcome to The Print. A huge story has been brewing in the halls of one of America's most beloved news channels. And all of this has come to light after a top media executive decided to step down. Now, all of this also seems to be connected to the resignation of a New York City governor. It may be hard to believe that this is not the plot of a movie, but before we begin, let's introduce some basic facts and also the people at the heart of this story. On Wednesday, Jeff Zucker, the president of CNN Worldwide, announced his resignation after spearheading the channel's operations for almost a decade. Zucker was previously the CEO of NBC and also a founding executive at Hulu. Zucker's resignation comes less than two months after he fired primetime anchor Chris Cuomo, after it was found that Cuomo used his media sources to help his brother, the then New York governor Andrew Cuomo, fight off sexual misconduct allegations. Andrew Cuomo was once considered one of America's best known leaders, serving as governor of the people of New York for about a decade. But after a cascade of sexual harassment allegations, he announced his resignation in August 2021. Earlier this week, the final criminal case against him was dropped, seemingly putting to rest any possibility of charges being pressed. So why did Jeff Zucker resign? Many say it's because of what was revealed when CNN was investigating Chris Cuomo's efforts to help his brother with a media counteroffensive against the sexual assault scandal. It was revealed that in all his years of working at CNN, Jeff Zucker failed to disclose a consensual relationship with colleague Alison Golist, who is also a top CNN executive and a close friend of Zucker's for over 20 years. Alison Golist, a former publicist, currently serves as CNN's executive vice president and chief marketing officer. Zucker, who got divorced in 2019, claims their relationship only became romantic during the pandemic. Just a fun fact, Golist also previously worked for Andrew Cuomo in 2012, before leaving the next year, to work for Zucker at CNN. But this story is more than just an office romance. Let's zoom out for a second and look at the structure of CNN. CNN is a cable news network. Its parent company is media conglomerate WarnerMedia. Now, CNN is just one subsidiary of WarnerMedia. There's film, television, and entertainment companies under it too, like HBO, Cinemax, Warner Bros, and even DC Comics. So when Jeff Zucker quit, all eyes were on Warner Media CEO Jason Kylar, especially since it was believed Zucker faced termination if he didn't quit. It was also Warner Media who named three interim leaders for CNN after Zucker's exit. Here's where it gets interesting. CNN staff and even top anchors don't believe that Zucker and Allison's affair, which was apparently an open secret in the newsroom, was enough to get him fired. According to a report by Puck News, which focuses on stories within the nexus of Hollywood, Wall Street, Washington, and Silicon Valley, a very confrontational meeting was held between CNN staffers and Jason Killard very recently. The CNN staffers grilled the Warner Media CEO on why their boss was fired. One theory was that Chris Cuomo is a man scorned and his attorneys intentionally revealed Zucker's affairs to higher ups. Had Zucker been able to stay on at the company, Cuomo's attorneys would have sued, citing the apparent hypocrisy. Further, given that there was a history of bad blood between Jeff Zucker and Jason Killar, Killar didn't mind seeing Jeff go. But here's the bigger story, and it starts in 2018. In 2018, Warner Media was acquired by AT&T, the world's largest telecommunications company and the largest provider of mobile telephone services in the US for a whopping 85 billion US dollars. AT&T has been trying to sell Warner Media for a while now and is in the middle of finalizing a sale to Discovery for almost half the amount they paid in 2018. This was to be the icing on top of AT&T's merger with Discovery. According to the Park News report, Jeff Zucker and Alison Gollist were due to take on senior roles at the new company after the deal. So the bigger theory is that AT&T didn't want any scandal to threaten this very fragile deal, even if it meant that CNN president Jeff Zucker would be collateral. Thanks for watching. This is Pia Krishnakuti for The Print. Do subscribe to The Print.in and follow us on social media.